Once we welcome our elementary students and their families back to our buildings, they will notice several important health and safety measures in place. Schools will have designated drop-off and pickup areas. To help with physical distancing, we ask that families have only one adult present at the drop-off and pickup areas. All adults and students must wear face coverings, covering the nose and mouth when on school grounds, with the exception of time for eating or mask breaks, which are dedicated times when they can remove masks throughout the day outside. If a child is not feeling well or is showing symptoms of illness, we will need their parent or a trusted adult to return and take them home for the health and safety of the school community. Schools will have different procedures to get students into classrooms. Exterior doors will be used as available. We will use the guidance given of three feet of distancing for students and six feet between adults. Students will be assigned to cohorts. These are smaller groups of students and teachers who stay together for several weeks or more. These small groups help with health safeguards and in limiting the spread of COVID if a student or staff member tests positive. It will limit the number of students and staff who may need to be quarantined. These cohorts may have up to 35 students, as long as students maintain three feet of distance and follow rules for wearing face coverings. Four adults can rotate into one cohort. With certain exceptions, no more than two adults will be in the classroom at one time. Student movement throughout the day will be minimized, but we will make sure that students engage in both indoor and outdoor activities and experiences. Classrooms will be reconfigured to support physical distancing. Students will keep all of their items in their backpacks since they cannot keep things in lockers or cubbies. Students will remain in the same classroom as much as possible and will have meals in their classroom. In some instances, teachers will be simultaneously instructing students who are in classrooms while some students are home via live stream. Once in the classroom and throughout the day, regular breaks will be given for staff and students to wash hands. Hand sanitizer will also be available. The school will be disinfected both throughout the school day and after school.